because our whole uh, uh, infrastructure of fairness is based on the rule of law, hasn't always been fair for all people, but I am appealing to the justices of the Supreme Court of Virginia to take the principles that we discussed at the beginning of this process, the criteria that we did agree to but didn't fully execute, to look at the law, not only at the federal level but at the state level, and lift up fairness in whatever you do to draw maps. At this point, um, I don't feel as though all members on the commission are sincere in their willingness to compromise and to create fair maps for the Commonwealth of Virginia. And so at that point, if I can't believe that the people that I'm supposed to work with are true and sincere, um, regret regrettably, I am done. So thank you very much for the opportunity to serve but I will remove myself from the commission at this point. Madam Chairman, I guess this is a parliamentary question now I think three citizen individuals have walked out of the room and we had one citizen that was via electronic. So does that mean we have no quorum at this point? We've lost quorum, yes, sir. So to clarify, after we were accused of not coming in for quorum purposes, we've now broken quorum. Is that? There is no quorum present okay. in this room. Got it. Okay. Ma Ma Madam Chairman, so just to understand procedurally, and I don't know if Amigo's in here or Meg, that means when that quorum was broken, that was the act of adjourning the meeting because we can't do anything else. Is that right? I think that's can't, a fair Can't do anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, uh, point of order, uh, parliamentary order. So we can't even sit here and have discussions about moving forward or finding compromise. That's what that just stopped. There is the language in the budget that if you guys are just receiving information, we don't have to have a physical quorum present to do that. Does receiving parliamentary inquiry, uh, Madam Co-Chair, does receiving information include talking to each other right here, right now? I think as, if you're not doing the business, I, this is such an uncomfortable position to be in I right understand. now. I apologize. So, um, Senator Stanley, I think Senator Locke is the rules chairman currently, so she might. Of the Senate, so she might talk about it. <laughs> but I, I don't think you can make a motion. I don't think you can have conversation. I don't think, I don't think that you can do anything that's of action so, I, 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 without a quorum. So Senator Locke. If I can ask you a question then, because you know everything. I mean, you're the smartest person in the room. So that means that by them getting up and walking out, they basically have paralyzed this committee from actually coming to a consensus or an agreement by compromise that might have possibly not just been in the works, but close to being worked out. Is that true? I think we are able to have conversations in groups of two. <laughs> um, there can be no action taken by this commission. That is correct. Correct. It, so, Madam Chair, is it, and just following up, I guess I need to ask Senator Locke a question. You said no action. <coughs> is it, is it, and I'm just not sure. I was under the impression no business could take place, period. Well, if you're discussing, I mean, if you don't the, have, if you're discussing the work of the commission, that's business. Right. Madam Co-Chair? Yes, Mr. Kumar. I think I, I think what we're hearing is this effectively adjourns the meeting. Yes. Correct. Madam, yes. Madam Co-Chair, uh, question. Uh, I think we can it, talk in groups of two since it's been adjourned. But uh, ask a question. No, we won't. But uh, the issue. We're still uh, live. Okay. The issue is can we 
can you call a meeting, uh, whether it's tomorrow or Monday, uh, to see where we can go from here? As the only chair, right. I likely can call a meeting. Whether we will have a quorum at that time is that remains to be seen. Right. So, I mean, if, for example, if uh, Ms. Frost Thornton, who is not here in person today, if Ms. Frost here, Thornton can come tomorrow, then, then we would come tomorrow, have a quorum, I believe. Then we would be able to get a quorum. I'm still on. There may be a possibility of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 